Well, good morning. It's me again. Now today's video, or maybe one part one, top part two, is at Eden Bridge and Oxted Agricultural Show. Thanks for coming on my journeys. I do appreciate it. If you get a chance, give the video a like for me, would you? I would appreciate that. If you haven't already, think about subscribing. Okay, let's get on with this video now, shall we? Cheers for coming on. Good morning, guys. What brings you oh. to the agricultural <laughs> show today? Uh, we used to come as kid. I came as a kid, and I haven't been for probably about fifteen years, twenty years. Really? Are you but from a farming background? Yes, chicken farming. Yes, chicken farming. Chicken farming. Okay. Uh, we've met the kids for the uh, first I, time. I, cool. If I'm going to be honest, I used to sneak in, so I figured it's only right and I'll start paying my own way. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I'll At pay least trouble. Your wife's not, uh, honest. <laughs> I was honest. <laughs> and you brought your little spookies. We have got the little girls with us today. Can we film them? Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah. Hello. Martha. Martha, what are you excited to see? What do you want to see? You what see animals? The animals today, do you? Yeah, what, what animals are here? What about the tractors? Was he tracked? Oh, you're being shy. Yeah. What's Mabel, your name? what do you want to see? Uh, this is Mabel and this is Martha. Hello, Mabel and Martha. We're going to see horses, <laughs> aren't we? Let's hope the sun shines on us today, oh, eh? Absolutely. You want to see horses? <laughs> Thanks ever so much. You're then. welcome. <laughs> first. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's excited. She's still <laughs> She left me five, she still got five. Well done. That's my job done. Get us in. Okay. Um, Hello. Oh, Hello. Let me get on the camera. Oh. <laughs> He's very excited. Have a great night, no, guys. Oh, no, no, this is from Morning, chaps. Morning. How are we doing? Good, thanks. Showing yeah, today? Yeah. Well, we're playing in a bit, yeah. We've been playing? <laughs> yeah, what are you playing logs. with? Log splitter. Log splitter? Yeah. Is that one, what, that's not allowed to track to an extent? No, no, it's just one oh, you're going to do it on here? Perhaps I can come yeah, around yeah. and look at you in a bit then? Yeah, yeah. What's your names? Well, my name's Hugh. And I'm Alan. And yeah. where are you from? I'm from Haverseed, but CVAC is here. CVAC's? Yeah, yeah. That's invited yeah, me down yeah. here today, so we'll yeah. catch up with you in a little while, shall we? Yeah. Lovely job. Cool. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Oh, you're all right. Um, I can see you all the way up here. Unusual Come on, Andrew, pull your finger out. Is this your week you're gonna fresh fresh today? We've yeah. met you two before, haven't we? Yeah. I've got your names though. Graham and Brian. Graham and Brian, oh Graham and Brian. Ray and Brian. Who? Not Graham. Ray. Ray. Ray, is this your this is your fresher machine behind us, isn't it? Yeah. And you're gonna fresh your own we today? It hunts quite bad, it's it's yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it's hunts. Yeah, it's what time are you going to do that then? Well, as soon as the other crew come along to do the pitching. Yeah? Yeah. We'll have a look at that. Come on, let's get it right this time, shall we? Who's tractor? Your tractor as well? No, it's John Midland's. Oh, okay. Could the shotgun cartridge be 
as good or is it the, 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 you prefer someone and it? Yeah. Now you're going to get the the papers on 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 the on the casing. Yeah. They jam up under the valve. Oh right. And it keeps going.
compacted stoops on the field, was it? Yeah. And then they put them on a trolley as we got behind us, and then the two, was it two people above, is it? We'll see it later, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they load it into the machine. Yeah. And you have a man on a bag, is that right? Yeah, Brian's going on a bag. I'm feeding it in at the top. You're feeding it at the top, yeah. We get some people to chuck, chuck the machines up to us. Oh, well, we'll have a look yeah. at that.
Leslie Ferguson's. Really, we're seeing sort of like the broad spectrum, really, from the early grey Fergies right up to the brand new jobbies. Good morning, guys. What brings you to the show? What brings you to the show? Because I have a farming background. Are you? Yes. That's fantastic. Uh, you know, shows like this brings it all back to people, the young folk. We need shows like this, don't we? Absolutely, to keep it going. I just my first port of call is the pigs. Okay. Wonderful to see the change of breeds of pigs now. Really. And going back um, 70 years really? when pig farming was just coming up in the UK after the war. So yes, yeah, fascinating to see the uh, changes. We're just looking at machinery. Um, How it's changed from the old grey Ferguson's right up to the modern uh, Ford 200. I used to drive a Fordson tractor when I was a teenager. Really? <laughs> Terrible thing, no springing. No, no cab. No cab, and the exhaust was on the bonnet and it's straight into your face. Uh. And on a hot August day, I can tell you at the end of the day, even as a teenager, I staggered back home. <laughs> Oh, okay. um, so what sort of farm was it you was on? Was it mixed farming? Was it no, back we in were, Originally we were um, table poultry in the 1940s yep. and we got fowl pests three times over. It came in from America. Oh really? It's not on, just the day then? No, we had it, uh, we, it, we went bust with it. Uh, as soon as we built the stock up again we got it and again three times. So my parents changed to pigs and uh, I left to make my fortune elsewhere, I went up to London in the end, so uh, I don't know how long they went on with the pigs. But they, what I was Edenbridge Young Farmers Club when I was a teenager, just up the road here, and um, what has interested me is how in the 40s into the 50s it was the large white pigs, yep. because they have long backs for bacon. Yep. And the Danes were using land race and they came over to the UK and I've just been talking to them and nobody's interested in the large whites anymore but they've crossbred them yeah. so you've got even longer backs like this really? on those animals. I suppose it's, it's, it's moving on, they do the same walks there, there don't they? They don't grow trees with leaves anymore, they, they grow trees with stalks and apples on them there don't they? And they're dwarf as well aren't they? Not, you haven't got to climb up apple trees no more. Oh, fruit, fruit farming, yes. Oh, it, well, that's a good idea because you don't need the staff. Of course. You know, it's much easier to deal with it. But uh, I ended up, after a long, interesting life, running an alpine nursery. Oh, okay. Which was lovely. That's a bit of a change. From wonderful, life. yes, wonderful. Loved it. But it's, it's great to hear you used to drive a little false and tractor. Was it a Dexter or was it a, a... Well, that's what I don't know, because I don't think at the age I was, I would have paid any attention to that. No. <laughs> I was just earning pocket money. It was but an inconvenience for you, really. It was a, a farmer's... A nearby farmer wanted me to do it for him, so I was working for someone else. But uh, we were just talking about Jer the Jersey bulls being the most dangerous of the lot really? and I remember watching uh, from where we live, the field next door, a farmer being chased by a Jersey bull yeah. and he ran for his life and broke through a, a quite dense hedge to escape the bull. The bull went straight into the hedge and trapped his horns and he got stuck. Oh but the man, it saved his life because that they are devastating and they're quite short but they're very angry. Oh, that's amazing, so. <laughs> and is this your son here? Is well, it? yes. Yeah. And uh, so you I hope you're listening to all this history because I'm not being nasty when this young lady departs from this earth. Then all that history has gone with her. I mean, you're both, and your name is it's Chris. Chris, and your young lady here, Jane. And where are you from, Jane? Uh, Heathfield. Heathfield. Yes. Appreciate your time talking to me, okay. and we'll see you again. Cheerio, Thank you. Bye bye. Good morning! You won't be get all shy for you. And what are you doing at the show today? You're looking at the tractors, aren't you? Yeah. Is Mummy there? Mummy Lee interested in the tractors? Yeah, I like the tractors. Are you from a farming background? Uh, I'm a farm vet. 
Just go on, Vet. Go on, Vet. Oh, yeah. well, without you guys, we, we would survive. Wouldn't we really. No, that's right. That's you it. know, <laughs> giving the injections when needed. That's it, yes. And does Mummy look after you, all right? Like she looks after the animals? No. What about that? What, what's your names? Can you tell me your names? No. What about um, Daddy tell me the names? So I shouldn't say Daddy and Mum because today is partners and people, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. This is Fred and Jack. Fred and Jack. Hello, Fred. Hello, Jack. And who's this? Oh, oh, hello. Who's this? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Guys. Good, morning. Good morning. What brings you to the show? We're locals, so we come every year. We've been coming for like. Well, apart from when Calvert was on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they did a really good job the first year back, so yeah. yeah. yeah it's a lovely nice. day for it today, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Very local food. Thanks yeah. a lot yeah. for giving us your time. That's all right. I'm doing timber haulage and thanks a lot to all the stone and stuff. Well, it started in 1917. Yeah. It wasn't actually finished and delivered until 1920. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we don't quite know why there was a gap, maybe First World War or something like that. So often, often, they made, often they made a lot of boilers. <laughs> Because you're, you know, you're just riveting plate together. They'd often make boilers and then stand them outside and let them sort of rust up a little bit and let the rust get in the joints and that would help, you know, help expand it, help seal it. And then they bring the boilers back in and, and um, you know, we, but we don't really know why it started in 17 and was delivered, finished and delivered in 1920. Yeah, but it spent. So it went to H D Drage in Crystal Suffolk. And they had it from you. In a show, <laughs> a show finish, which is you know, so and um, we've got the build sheet for it, so we know you know, and it spent all its working life up there, really. Good morning. Hi, yeah. How are we doing this morning? Yeah, I'm not bad. So, you've got a cat one with driver, so you're going to be driving today, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm the driver. Okay, and what we got in front of us here then? This is a 1931 Aveling Imported Class L steam tractor. Yeah. Um, and it was new to a county council in Scotland. Yep. And he worked there for his whole working life. From Scotland? Hmm. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, it travelled up. It was made in Rochester in Kent. Yeah. So it's near his home. It's coming back home, isn't it? Coming yeah. home? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's the horsepower are we talking here then? Um, steam engines are measured in nominal horsepower, which means the equivalent to how many horses it would take. It's not like oh. horsepower in the car. Yeah. Um, but I'm not actually sure. I would say probably about five nominal horsepower. Yeah. But it would it'd be different in modern horsepower. Okay. Now, for all sake, you was going onto a job back in the day, and yeah. you'd have to get there first thing in the morning, would you? Or to start it up in the yard to get to the job? And how long would that take you to get the old girl going? Um, about two hour, hour and a half, two hours. So you'd have to get up at four o'clock in the morning to be ready for the eight o'clock shift, would you? Yeah, probably. Probably. Would you like doing that? Um, yeah, I wouldn't have minded it. I wouldn't have wanted to do much else, to be honest. Really? If I hadn't been driving, I wouldn't fix it. So what made you come into the hobby then? Um, I was practically born into it. My family have been collecting steam in. Well, not, not just steam in, but we've been collecting vehicles for yeah. about the past 30 years. Really? And What's the family's name? 
Jones. Jones, and you're from whereabouts are you from then? Where's the Jones family from? We live in Dawkins, sorry. Dawkins, alright, oh, yeah, it's not too far no, from there, no, really, isn't it? So you've got a few of these engines, have you? We've got two steam engines. The other one we've got is a um, Poland steam lorry. Alright, oh, yeah, nice. Yep. Which is in, it's in Bishop's Moved Colours, so people, it's quite a well known. Oh, special. Perhaps one day I can come along and uh, come to the place and look at all your machines and everything, if that'd be okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'd have to check because it, I don't own the place, but um, it yeah. should be alright. Well, Andrew next door's got a big engine next door, he's got my contact details, and if you fancy it one day, I'll pop over and see you. Well, yeah, sure. I appreciate your time. So tell us your name and where you come from. Dylan Jones and I come from Dorking. Thanks for your time, Dylan. That's all right. Appreciate and it. And you are? Robin Bell. And the channel's oh, called yeah. Out of Town Robin Bell. All right then. Brilliant. Cheers. It'll be on shortly. Cheers. Cheers, Dylan. Good morning. Morning. How are we doing this morning? I've met you before somewhere. I've seen your face somewhere before. Probably in the pub somewhere. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, guys. And you. Cheers. Oh, okay. All right. See you later. See you later. Morning, Andrew. Hello. I've caught you again. Oh, now, know. you're always on my videos, <laughs> isn't you? We love seeing you. I'm not going to stop working today. Mate. Now, you carry on keep, working. Got to keep cleaning. Keep cleaning. And yeah. you've got a driver with you today. Now, we've met that driver before somewhere. So he's got a lorry, off. isn't yeah, he? Yes, he has. And he's at your great, uh, your uncle's yard, is he? Yeah, that's yeah. We basically yeah. Have you got just this today with you, or you got others with no, you? No, just the one thing today. Yeah. Just Are you going to be doing rides or trips around? No, I don't, no. We'll go for a trundle round with the parade. I think there's a parade, yeah. but no, we haven't got a trailer or anything. We're not, no, not doing any rides or anything today. So. Is so, far for you? Uh, tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow, I think. Oh, no, then we'll. I'll catch you up late when you're not so busy. We'll yeah. have a little now. Okay. And, uh, thanks for your time. No Cheers, worries, Andrew. Green colours going up to the nine end. So tell us a little bit about your machine, Peter. It's a Manco two and a quarter petrol paraffin. Yeah. You just turn it over to uh, paraffin. Yeah. Now, is it run better on paraffin or does it run better on petrol? It runs better on paraffin. Does it? Yeah. It's so a bit like my TBO tractors. They run yeah. better on TBO. Than yeah. Once paraffin. it gets once it gets hot. Yeah. Once it gets hot, then it turns, you turn it over and it gets and it runs better. And do you, when, before you shut it down, do you turn it back on petrol? Yeah. Turn it back on petrol. Yeah. Turn the paraffin off. Put it back on the petrol. So it cleans all the car out. That's it. Needed to start the next, next time. time. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time and uh, nice, nice exhibition. Cheers for that. I'll speak to the chap next door. He's got a different one. What have you got on show today? What, is that? what have you got on show today? Uh, I've got a 1922 Hob. Uh, made down in Somerset. It's just a great petrol. It's great petrol. Um, and it would run a water pump, dairy um, set for milk in the earth. Oh, okay. 
And so what's a horsepower with that? That's one and a half horsepower. One and a half horsepower. That's fantastic. Lovely little exhibition you got on there. Yes. I appreciate your time. What's the name and where you come from? Mate? I'm uh, Simon Vaughan and I'm from East Bend. Thanks for your time. Thank Cheers. You. Stuff like that, so they can eat it better. And that's used for feeding chickens, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And how long have you owned this little town? About 12 years that, about 10 years that. Really, it's a lovely exhibit you got yeah, there. Yeah, I like to demonstrate what basically what machines did, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. um, how long have you owned it for? 12 years that. Sorry, long. you did say that. It's my mistake. Yeah. 10 years that. Have you got others? Yeah. Only other three. Yeah, it's a bit of a disease on this lot, isn't it? Uh, I, my limitation is the size of my garage, but it'll have to go in the garage. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate your time. Tell me about your door. Tell us your name and where you come from. Tony O'Sullivan from a place called Southwood and Ferries in Essex. Thanks for your time. Thank you. conversation between me and the Edwardian gardener cannot be shown or heard due to a copyright issue about the music playing in the background from the loudspeakers but the conversation went like this basically about his clothing and his antiquities that he's got on show the clothing being he's dressed as an Edwardian gardener and I said well Perhaps you should wear that all the time, even in modern day work. And he says, yes, that might bring in more customers. And I'm sure it would do. Well, on his display, he's got a stationary engine that's running. Now, this stationary engine has got an unusual pulley on it. It's made of wood. Now, he tells me that if the stationary engine was on the farm, and they have a different type of machinery and they needed a different type of pulley, they would chop down a tree, machine a piece of wood and fit it on the stationary engine, what suited it. Now he also said that the pulley's got woodworm and is having a quite a happy time going round and round and round. Anyway, sorry about that. That's just the way the copyright issues work and we should get back to normal viewing as soon as possible. Thanks for now.
shot first. Right. Well, what is this? Something to do with the Air Force or something? Uh, is it? World War Two. World War Two. Yeah. yeah. 1942. It is. And what's it based on? David Brown. It's David Brown. Brown. With a two-seater on it, so yeah. there are two people in it as well. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's what is it? Crop Master or something like that? Yeah, it's more or less. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously the mud guards are more. Great big up my guards and a uh, lot more weight. And, you know, it's a, it's a, I've got a trailer as well, but I haven't got it here. <laughs> so what is it used for? Bomb, 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 bomb carriers, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, people think you know the aeroplanes just be just that sort of door, but they was miles away because yeah, the bombs. Way in the airport, I think. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I mean, if you had them bombs going off, it'd, it'd kill a lot of people if it's close to the hangars, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. these were these these was used particularly to yeah, drive like, out and take the bombs on their trailers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They drive under the wings and that under the aircraft. Oh really? And the trailer's got four jacks on it. Yeah. They, they used to jack it up, pitch her up, and let them down, let the trailer in, and draw out. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. So yeah, how I've long? Got, sorry. I've got the trailer. It's such a bloody great long thing. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> bring it. Yeah. So how long have you owned this machine? Oh, for? Goodness knows. I don't know. But 40 years, 40 odd years now. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. So you spin it, it's been your, so what are you going to do with it? Are you going to sell it or are you going to keep it or you're going it down? Well, no, I don't know whether I'll land it down or not now yet. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's nice to keep it. I mean, you, you must be very proud of the condition it's in at the moment. Considering where I did it up and everything, I was outside. Yeah, no sheds for, or anything like that. No, no, no. no. Unfortunately, you've got the music playing in the background there, so we're going to find it hard to talk to. But <laughs> what a lovely machine! And, uh, it is, it's a smashing and machine. Lovely one to draw with, too. Really? And what do you sort of scrag all the gear boxes? No, no, you sit both brake and clutch this side. Oh, really? And, well, yeah, it's all in one side. All in one side. So, yeah. well, who would be sitting next to you then? Well, you yeah. the bombs, I suppose. Yeah. And they actually, for that one over there, he's got the seat on it. Well, I don't know whether he's good or not, but they, they put a seat for the crew, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so when they take the bombs out to the uh, aircraft, you know, three or four yeah, of you, two, two or three all jumping off, yeah. the driver will sit where he is, yeah. the, the, the crew will jump so off. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's coming. Well, I appreciate your time telling me this, man. Tell, tell me your name and where you come from. Grand Isle Hall from Forest Road. Thanks for your time. I appreciate your time, man. Oh, thanks for doing this up. It looks lovely. How we doing? Good morning, chaps. How we doing? Oh, well, we're not too bad. Yeah. Welcome to CVAC, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I recognise a few of you. That's it. You've got tractors down here today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what you got with you today? The Massey 135 over there. Oh, is that a polished one? Yeah, that's Looks it. Looks like it's just come out of the factory. Well, better condition than it's just come out of the factory. Hopefully. <laughs> Looks lovely. Did it take you long to do it up, or did you buy it in that condition? Uh, about seven months. Oh, quite quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have a walk over and you can tell us about it, yeah? yeah. Or are you busy? We, we did it root uh Rootham before. Did we? Yeah. Alright, oh, well we'll talk about it again, oh, just in case go. someone missed it. Tell us your name while we're walking over there then. Chris, Chris Brooks. That's it, I remember your name. I've got a very short memory, I'm afraid. I've met so many people. Oh, I can imagine. Unfortunately you got the music blaring in the background. This old dog here. Beautiful machine. What condition of it when, when you first got hold of it then? Pretty sour. Really? Pretty I bet the headlights weren't there, was they? Because no, they never no. are there. No. The first thing that gets hit with the, when it, it gets bushes and all sorts, yeah. isn't it? Well, they uh, 
So it was in, it was put at the back of a field, and then um, they sat there for 30 years, and there was woods by the time we got them out. Oh really? So yeah, it was uh, quite a mission to get them out. This one and that one were in the same place. Same machine, is it? Same owner? You own this, Christie? No, that's that one there. That's that's the end. Oh, okay. Down on the end there. Oh, right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they both come out the same woods uh, at the land. So. Uh, tell me, was the bonnet and all the wings? Did you have to replace them with them? Replace them? Yeah, they were rock through. Oh, right. now see, I like working clothes, like attracting it. Yeah. The, the, but when they're in that condition, you, you can't just replace eight wings. It look no. a bit dark. That's the thing. I would have liked to have kept the original panels at least. Yeah. But they were just too far gone. Yeah. But yeah. I tell you what, what a wonderful tractor because all right, the tin work goes, yeah. but you still got that solid base. You got the gearbox, yeah. the engine, the, 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 the main the main section was actually in really good condition because it had a cab on it originally, which oh. helped. Um, but it was used on a saw bench and it had an oil leak and obviously the oil on the sawdust it protected Stuck to it everything. Protected it. Yeah, so, like really so the engine was still perfectly grey. I mean, you know, it was, yeah, it was a shame really. I bet it was an absolute minute when it got put in there, you know. So does it start? It starts obviously starts to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't do. It's had a full, that full about rebuild. In that about rebuild. Everything's new. It's got a new crank, new cam, everything. Fantastic. You bring it along to the shows. And uh, yeah, yeah. Bring it along to shows, taking road runs. I'm gonna do a bit of ploughing with it. You do a bit of ploughing with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's a great club this season, back, isn't it? Because you've got lots of members. Yeah. And if you're in trouble, not knowing any information about one track, you can talk to another guy, yeah, yeah. and he's full of information, that's or he can tell you where you can find the bits, yeah. or how to set the bits up, and whatnot. That's it. Such a great club to no, be a member of. It is good. It's a lot of knowledgeable people that yeah. are always willing to help. So, fantastic. It is good. So, tell us your name, where you come from again? Chris Brooks, and I come originally from Big and Hill. Thanks for your time, Love Chris. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Have a good one. Hello, what are you doing here then? Not a lot really. Not a lot. Have you got a tractor or I do a not. tractor? No. You're pouring a tractor today. I'm a, I'm a very helpful little man. Fantastic. We need guys like you, young people like that. I had to come all the way to, from Gloucestershire to come out. Really? Oh, fantastic. We turned up off the train at about half ten the other night, so fair play to him. <laughs> Good man, you like these old girls, eh? Yeah, they're alright. They're alright, they're great. <laughs> Especially exhibits that you got behind you, I mean, what a fantastic looking machine, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, 100%. They're, uh, they're really nice tractors. Uh, you drive them, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What background do you come from? Do you come from a farming background? No, not at all. Not at all? No. So how did you get to know Seabank? Uh, through Anthony Bradford and Simon Wells. Okay. Um, yeah, got in through them and then it's all sort of blown up from there really. And you come down occasionally and see, see what's going on? I used what? to live around this area so... Okay. Thanks for your time. Well, tell us your name and where you come from again. Jack Aradine from Gloucestershire. Cheers Jack. Cheers. Thanks for your time.
I'm going first, yeah, lovely old gardener. Single cinder. Gardener in it starts up no problem. Okay. Great engines, aren't they? Eh? It's what? Heavy. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Not bad for the weather, not good. Okay. They don't normally ordinary industrial doesn't have as big a floor wheel as that. Okay, yeah, it's a very yeah, and they had a thin one. So why has he got such a big floor? To balance the compression. Uh, balance the dynamo. Okay, yeah. have you got a little set up behind you? I can see well, that. Well, yeah, but it's not wired in. It's not wired in there. Now tell us when we start with the garden first, obviously. What sort of age is that thing? 37. 37. And where did you pick it up from? A pumping station or something? That, that one was found on the docks at Manchester. I reckon. What? In a box. No. So it's never done any work? Yeah. Like yeah. It, it was one of 16, I think you said on there, that went out to Vancouver, gardeners. Okay. And it's a, that's a left-hander. Yes, that's a, now, now I think about it, yes. That, that's marine. Uh, and they have, they have one left and one right. All right. So tell us about why is it one left and one, one right? Is there anything? In the, when they're in the ship. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I understand that. And apparently that's the same with, well, not that, but the big ship's engines, they're handy. Yeah. So you can work down each side of them. Yeah, of course, that makes Apparently, a lot of sense. Apparently, we learned that. Yeah. Lovely little dynamo on the back of it as well, isn't it, eh? So, does that, does that not be three phases, is it? No, no. It's a three. single phase. It's, it's emergency lighting for a ship. Oh, OK, then. Yeah. So it's bolted down to something solid, and it would be in a ship. That, that, know. That, that, that would have been, wouldn't it? The garden of the Yeah, the garden of yeah. yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah. A little diesel in single cinder injector. What sort of size of the piston would be that? Um, all in, something like that. Very fantastic. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's on any of those. Well, one of those balls is for that, but, yeah. Uh, is that a gas engine next door to it? No, that's diesel. Diesel as well? Oh, so quite a modern um, horizontal engine with diesel. So yeah. that was, when I worked at a pumping station years ago, that was all gas fired. Yeah. Because there's economic run on gas in those. Very old cold gas, wasn't it? It was available. I suppose so. Now, where would this have come out of? Then? That one worked. It was working nice for Robert McAlpine, the plant car. Really? Hey, to Oh, right. And what was, was it driving? His principal job, whether it did others, was to thirty odd acres side yeah. and everything was working on compressed air tools. Right, of course. And that, and that, that made the air further factor. So I could in, drive a compressor around. Well, all, all, the, all the tools. I mean, it's a fantastic amount of sport, uh, talk there, isn't it? I mean, you've got to fly, what, what is it, a six foot, eight foot flywheel there? Not 90 inches across. 90 inches across. Five and a half ton going on there. That, that, something to stop something like that going round, wouldn't it, eh? That, that engine's 12 and a half ton. Really? Fantastic. Flywheel shaft, five and a half. Really. So, it takes a lot of maintenance, or is it fairly easy? It's an oily rag, is it? Not too bad. We have had the odd bearing and this that with it. But, yeah. Yeah. I, as I say, I remember these from the old pumpy stations I used to work on many, many years ago. And it, it, it just looks so familiar to me, you know. And you've got a radiator on this one, obviously, because in a power in a pumpy station, I, we had big tanks in there. We had three, uh, they're what they call thermo That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it 
just go round yeah, and round the top of the tank. Now you top the tank. Well, yeah. on a zip like this, you could, uh, you could bring that out. Could you? Uh, now, see an air bottle behind you, like all my old machines, they all started on the air, didn't yeah. they? You push the air into a verse, got the flywheel ticking over. It takes the air on a normal valve stroke. Ah, uh, okay. Now, with the gas engines, you had to put all the gas valve until you got it just about right, and then you were it, it punch, yeah. and it'll go. With this, is this, is that the same, or is it just. No, you think, well, yeah, you have to. Um, you have to time it up before first, yeah. you know, by turning the ball up by hand. Yeah. And then you let the air through to it, open the valve, yeah. and the air blasts it down, and it goes over about three, four times, and you just drop the fuel in. Right. Then it hopefully it keeps going. With the, so having the air in the cylinder at the same time, does, does it interfere with it or is it a good thing? No, it, it, air's running it instead of the diesel. Yeah. Now, I mean, obviously, because the, that fire will turn around, I mean, it, as you said before, it takes a lot to stop, and uh, it, even if you turn the air off, it'd still go round for a few times, wouldn't it? It's not really going that fast, but it will, but, yeah, uh, it, let, it, let, it goes over, say, four times, drop the fuel in, and then turn the air off. It's not going with both. No, no, no. Well, I appreciate your time. It's a gardener, obviously. I like the old gardener engines. That, that piston is the size of a 25 litre oil can. Really? A big jobby then. Yeah. Well, you'd have to have You can see the edge of it coming out. But... Yeah, yeah, I'll walk over it. Tony. Woking. Okay, so right. Sorry. Sorry. 